Before you purchase the equipment, check to make sure you can mount the satellite dish in a location that will allow you to receive the satellite signal. In the regions of Germany, Benelux, and Italy, this means a clear view of the sky at 170 to 180 degrees azimuth. 180 degrees is due south, and an elevation of 30 degrees, about one-third of the way up from the horizon. The view must be unobstructed because the satellite signal will not go through buildings or trees. Once you are reasonably certain you can mount a satellite dish where it can receive the satellite signal, you will need to get the proper equipment. AFN decoders along with the satellite dish and parts are available for purchase from your local exchange. This parts list will include a satellite dish with a diameter of at least 80 centimeters, a scientific Atlanta decoder or the all new Cisco HD decoder receiver from the exchange or a used one from another authorized user an American standard television, enough coax satellite cable to connect the dish to the receiver. The equipment is available at AFES or most stores that sell electronics. Either a coaxial cable to connect the TV out from the satellite receiver to the cable input on your television or RCA cables to connect the video audio connections from the satellite receiver to the same type inputs on your television or an HDMI cable if you have the Cisco decoder and a TV with HDMI inputs. This means that you will have to switch to the video or auxiliary input on your television to view AFN. The first thing you want to do when you get the satellite receiver is request an authorization. You will need the TID and UA numbers from the back of the satellite receiver. With this information you will need to get online at afnconnect.myafn.dodmedia.osd.mil. Type the TID and UA numbers within the boxes provided and then click next. After you click next, it will ask you to fill in all your information. It requires a government email address of some kind. Once all the information has been entered, you will want to submit the document. Set up the decoder. Once the satellite receiver is connected to your television, you can make sure the receiver settings are correct as shown below for your particular decoder model. You can also find additional instructions at www.afneurope.net. On models D9834 and D9835, select the menu button on your remote. From the main menu, enter the preset LNB. Make sure the settings are as follows. Set up the dish. Now that the settings are correct, you are ready to set up the satellite dish. This dish has to be securely mounted so it cannot move. You can get mounting hardware to fix the dish to the walls, to balconies, to post and poles. You can get poles that can be cemented into the ground or tripods that can sit on the ground or on a balcony. Mount the dish on something solid. If you get a tripod, weight the tripod down so it will not move. The cable coming from the satellite dish can enter the home through a hole, window sill, or doorway. Do not crush or kink coax cable. If you bring the cable through a window or doorway, use a flat cable. This is a short piece of cable, usually 8 to 12 inches, with female connections on both ends. The cable is connected from the LNB on the satellite dish to the flat cable on the outside to another cable going to the satellite receiver. Pointing the dish. Once the dish is mounted and the connections are made, you are ready to align your dish on the satellite named Eurobird 9A. You begin with the azimuth, or the compass direction, and elevation for the location listed below that is closest to you. 15 to 20 kilometers is just fine. Use a compass to select a landmark at the proper azimuth for your location. Then point the dish as accurately as you can at that landmark. Set the elevation using the hash marks and pointer on the dish mount. This is only a rough dish pointing. Now it's time to fine tune that pointing. On the satellite receiver or remote, select the menu. From the main menu, select dish setup on the newer receivers or dish pointing on the older receivers. Here you should be reading a signal level on the newer receivers, a signal strength on the older ones. You will use these readings to guide the fine adjustment of your dish. If you cannot watch the TV while you adjust the dish, have another person watch the TV and call out the readings to you. Use cell phones if necessary. Loosen the mount just enough so you can move the dish in tiny increments. Grab the dish and move it just slightly to the left or right. The signal level should either go up or down. If it is going down, move the dish in the other direction. If it is going up, 
you are moving in the right direction. Adjust the dish in small increments until the signal level peaks. You will invariably move past the peak and have to back it up. Tighten the mount in this position and then do the same for the elevation, adjusting the dish up or down as necessary. At this point you should lock to the satellite.